Good morning, confirmation class. This is session nine and it is on justification. This is an important concept in Lutheranism and appropriately it follows last week's discussion of Luther and the Reformation. Some background information. Justification by faith has been the rallying cry of Lutherans since the Reformation. It's the belief that we are not saved by our good works or our own efforts, by what God has done, but by what God has done for us in Jesus Christ. The rest, how we live, how we treat others, is important, but that's our response to the freedom from sin that we have been given. But we don't earn our way to heaven on some sort of ladder of faith success. And yet, even after emphasizing this for over five centuries, many Lutherans and other Christians believe that faith is just about being a good person or doing moral things. Of course, people that are followers of Christ are expected to do their best to be decent people and be engaged in the world, feeding the hungry, caring for the sick, and being a voice for the voiceless, etc., but even our involvement in those important things does not make us righteous before God. If left to our own devices, we would always be in trouble. Even the most pious, most selfless among us could not live perfectly and sinlessly. Martin Luther understood justification as a very personal question of faith. As a young seminarian, Luther felt unworthy Relentless confession and various attempts to make himself righteous before God were impossible tasks and a constant source of anxiety. What helped Luther was a mentor's suggestion to look to Scripture. This worked well for Martin Luther because he was a Bible scholar. Here, Luther found comfort internalizing the idea that we are justified by God saved only by God's grace and the salvific work of Jesus Christ on the cross, not by our own works or our own understanding and certainly not by purchasing the forgiveness that the Roman Catholic Church was touting. You might recall last week we talked about Tetzel selling indulgences. Luther's acceptance of justification through faith alone fueled the Protestant Reformation. Well, here's what you need to know. The Reformation was motivated by Martin Luther's quest to help Christians understand that we are justified by faith, beginning with his own personal struggles as he attempted to adjust, to justify himself before God by his own merit. Luther found comfort in the Bible. This message has long been one of the primary tenets of the Lutheran Church. Doing good works and seeking to be moral people are natural responses to what we have been given by God, but that is not the source of our salvation. Still, the belief that our salvation is in our own hands stubbornly persists. Many Christians can fall into this trap of believing that faith is about being good, or at least looking good. You're being good. Or, or l at least look like you're being good. They are prone to perfectionism and can get caught up in the message that Christianity is all about what they do. If, we're re if we were required to justify ourselves before God, everyone would fail. Even the most saintly among us will sin and act selfishly from time to time. Thankfully, we don't have to be perfect to be right with God. We are not dependent on ourselves or our own ability to be in a relationship with God. We can trust in God's grace and love and the promise of the resurrection. Really, we can. In the category of Into the Lutheran Study Bible, there's a lot of good stuff on Luther in the Lutheran Study Bible, beginning on page 1521. You can skim through it and read whatever strikes your interest. There is an interesting chronology of Luther's life on page 1529. And since justification is really not covered under the uh, Luther's small catechism, 
I've left a quote here for you from Luther's Augsburg Confession. Luther didn't write everything in the Augsburg Confession, but he wrote this. We obtain the forgiveness of sins only by faith in Christ, not through love, nor on account of love or works, although love follows faith. Therefore, we are justified by faith alone, justification being understood as the making of a righteous person out of an unrighteous one. Here are some essay questions for you. I'd like for you to answer both questions using 100 to 150 of your own words. I'd like you to open your Bibles to Romans chapter 3, verses 21 to 28, and read it. In the early church, there was a huge debate regarding Gentile, meaning non-Jewish Christians. Should Gentile Christians have to observe the many distinct faith practices of the Jewish people, like dietary laws, rules about clothing, even circumcision? That was the issue of the day back when Paul wrote the letter to the Romans. Here's the questions for you. What might a modern-day correlation to this question of what's required of Christians be? Second question, how do you think those who were known for keeping the religious law felt when they read Paul's words that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God? Don't give me a one-word answer. Write about what you think. What's the point of doing good if we're all justified by God anyway? Finally, sometimes people will describe another as a really good Christian. What does that mean exactly? Why might Paul, what might Paul say about a rating scale of believers? Question two, find Ephesians chapter two and read verses eight to 10. This passage doesn't let us off the hook. If grace is free, what comes next? Why is it so hard for us to believe that being saved is not of our own doing, but is a gift from God? Why is it that it is so difficult for us to believe? All right, work on those 100 to 150 words on each question. Get it back to me within a week. God bless you. Bye-bye.